Does all the um, so what I'm working him on, you gotta keep on winding him. He likes to lay down by you though. Um, it's a ground tie with the leash on, so. He's trying to figure out the magic formula. And we do want him laying on that side like great big distance recall. So, you know, and I do, I always talk about that, but you do have to have a lot of close-up work. And, you know, and that's where the painter shines too. If you're going to do a lot of detailed close-up work, I can tell you, if it was me and I was getting hit with a lot of constant stimulation, I would remember that and I would remember the scenario where that was happening. And if that was all happening right by the handler, I'd remember that. And I might not like the handler anymore. I mean, that's just... So, you know, I've, I've got good motion on him. I've got good ways to control him in motion. I'm still working on that, but. Um, you know, and he's not really seeing the leash being there or the leash not being there. So what we do want to do, and remember, he'd always fiddle around if you tried to get something on him. He wouldn't let you get a leash on him without triple checking what you were doing. So, so retreat there. So, you know, again, now the leash is there. He, he sees it there, and I, I do drop it like that, and that means to stay. So if I want to put in motion, I've got my pager. I've really, with him I could put my nick on about 15, and honestly, anything less than that, when these people say they're working these dogs on level four and stuff on great to call, no, they're not. The dog doesn't feel that. This is something called the placebo effect. So, you know, if I am going to use the nick on this dog, it's going to be a function of popping the leash at the same time I do the nick. So, if you said, well, wouldn't that kind of disguise the nick? Absolutely. And that's what you want because, you know, what I want you to remember is. The nick isn't upsetting as long as it's not unexpected or uncontrollable. So it isn't unexpected if it's happening in conjunction with the leash being popped. So anyway, let's just take him for a little spin. So I'm working on getting him, and he doesn't go backwards, but I've kind of got something I'm doing to work on that. So I'm steering him with that pager. I've got my hand here. And he said, you know, what does he feel? Because I've done that, heel. Because I've done that concurrent with the the leash, right now look, here's my other turn the other way. You can hear that pager. Bring him in a little close. Now, same thing right there. I'm just drawing a little line. He said, what are you doing? I'm drawing a little line. And I can't get him to go backwards, but... Th and this is what I've kind of come up with. If you've got a dog... And I can get him to down point just by dropping this leash. Watch. Oh, 
Um, if you've got one that you can't get to go backwards, I think you just have the handle to go backwards. The dog, once the dog sees the handle moved that way, you've got a better chance. So, so he sees I move backwards. He doesn't really go backwards, he goes sideways, but he may not be going backwards conventionally, but he sees that I move that way. And he's got a little sidestep one. So that's what I think you want to think. And Mike, so with your shepherd, you know, that doesn't go backwards, just show him you go backwards. I'm so just clicking with Pedro quickly. You know, so that's now a move I have. You know, if he said later, well, I think I could make this, you know, and that's what you have to think of. If you're doing it that way, if you said, well, isn't it going to create, you know, create that behavior? Well, I can morph it into something else. You know, solely for the fact that he understands the concept, um, you know, to make things better. It's like a turning thing. You can turn him this way. You know, turn him back this way. You know, and I can also, and this is what you want to do too. I want to be able to turn from here, heel. You know, and if you said you have no ability to speed it up, I mean, absolutely could. All right, now watch. I'm going to drop this leash. Yeah. So that's kind of just like a little ground tie. And I, I want him to see down. But that doesn't mean he's going to see it. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Down. Yay. And he glanced at it. He didn't see it when I first dropped it, but he glanced back at it. So that's that's how I know. And that's what you have to look for. If he didn't look, if he didn't glance back and didn't see it, and then got up, dog in training. I really wouldn't be. Yeah. I was kind of doing it up here too. So. Yeah. 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 so he saw it. He looked back and saw it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm making the prize very, very small because he's so intent. If I made it too big, yeah. I'm going to tell you what happens if you make it too big. There's no bigger. There's no bigger. So it's a small, if I could make it bigger, if I suddenly made it bigger, that would stand out. Right, so. so you'll see, I think I'll be able to get him heal. Watch him drop the leash. He saw it fall. You know, and then I can have all through, which he's not going to be all through, uh, but I want to make it all through as subtle as possible. I guess we'll have to see.